Hi everybody, Divya Pandit here. So here we start with our next zodiac sign that is Pisces. Pisces 2022 April. Let's see what have for Pisces. Anyways, April is a month for introspection, meditation, looking inside of yourself and spirituality. So let's see. A little disappointment or maybe some Pisces must be traveling. A little disappointing, disappointing energy. You all are all in your power also at the same time. Okay. Uh, right now you're not thinking about anything. There's a lot of pressure at work. Uh, yeah, you're wanting to just deal with your life and you know, uh, trying to shine very brightly even though you're uh, in this negative situation. That's that's amazing. <clears throat> Third week and fourth week. Okay. So Pisces, the first week of April will get you something that is, uh, you know, if you're going through some kind of legal battle, you will have a positive, I feel it's a positive uh, <clears throat> outcome, but it will have a lot of uh, destruction in your relationship area. Okay. There will be a lot of relationship uh, not happening for you. Legal battles will be won. Okay. Good decisions will come through. Uh, if you, if life or anybody has been unfair to you, uh, now is the time where you will get back, you know, that balance of karma will happen. People will come towards you and tell you how unfair they were or maybe they will apologize or something like that. But there is a lot of energy where anybody who was bad to you in the past will start coming towards you and start being nice to you. Second week will be all about you uh, sitting on your throne, maybe a promotion, maybe something upliftment at work, uh, maybe good relationship with your boss, uh, definitely good energy, money, creativity, new beginning, a lot of good things. Okay, possibly a person who is in a good position might approach you for some work, possibly. Uh, Third week. Third week is all you will be in your dreamy, dreamy self, in your illusion, thinking, dreaming, lot of dreams, lot of dreams will come to you in the third week. Maybe the dreams that you want to happen, maybe the dreams that, you know, you wanted in your life, um, you will keep thinking about it, you will keep, uh, you will be more in your head in illusion, maybe thinking, dreaming kind of energy, all to yourself, okay? And the fourth week is all coming together with people, party, uh, meeting your colleagues, you know, happy, happy energy. Maybe you'll meet more people. Maybe you will network in the fourth week. A lot of networking energy. Yeah, so first week is the fairness, the legal cases. Second week is you'll meet somebody in a good position or you are going to go in a good position and good money, work, creativity, moving forward. Third week is all in your illusion, in your mind, thinking, dreaming. <laughs> and the fourth week is all about networking, meeting new people, partying, going out. Yeah, that's, like I said, it's up and down, but it's not a bad month for you, Pisces. Right? Let's see what you have in your relationship area. Really. Okay, so relationship Pisces April. I feel that uh, Pisces, you're going to acknowledge your inner child. Somewhere, somewhere, uh, that what people have been projecting on you, or you have been reflecting. Maybe you will go inside of yourself and ask, why I can't. Um, you know, have the person I want or maybe you will go and ask what is a block in me and my relationships some intros introspection is going to happen, you're going to go inside of you you're going to ask yourself, you're going to talk to yourself, definitely this month is anyway for all zodiacs month of looking inside of you, connecting spiritually, you're going to go and 
After that, there is a lot of success and growth in your relationship. There is a decision that will be made whom you want to be with. You are going to rebuild a relationship with someone. So somebody from the past is coming in your life in the month of April, oh, Pisces. Coming together. See, there's also daydreaming, dreams coming true. So maybe the person you have always been manifesting, you're going to come together with that person. Or the relationship, uh, You, if you wanted your relationship to be in a certain way, that relationship will change. Definitely, rebuilding is there. So something old is going to rebuild. Nurturing, seeking, you're waiting for that person or you to decide something and well-deserved reward. Wow. So whatever you have wished for will come true. If you wanted to be with someone, you will be with that person and your wishes are coming true. Your opportunities are there, Pisces. Don't turn your back. Don't turn your back, okay? Don't turn your back because opportunities are there, offers are there. And you know, sometimes that we have not healed ourselves properly. So uh, that is why we keep projecting on others and others keep projecting on us. And that is why we cannot find that one relationship which we can connect to. Possibly the relationship you are in is not turning out the same way you want, like the way you want. And possibly the person you are manifested or you want, wanted to be with or somebody who is coming from the past in your life, you want to rebuild that relationship with you. But that person wants to rebuild that relationship with you will uh, you know we find blocks in that because somewhere we have not healed the opportunity is right in front of you and you need to look at it because if you don't you will miss out you will actually miss out Pisces so please go ahead and uh, be in a positive frame of mind okay and let's see what fairy message we have for you okay one sec Moderation. You need to eat properly. You need to put fruits, greens in your diet because our food rules our mind. And is there something that you know shouldn't be eating? So maybe you're overdoing something. You're overdoing maybe too much of non-veg, too much of veg also is not good, too much of alcohol, something that you're overeating, maybe sweets, something that you need to cut down on and you need to look after yourself and your diet. That is what the fairies are saying. Only then you will be able to think better and look after yourself better. So basically angels are, are and fairies are asking you to love yourself. Take care of yourself right now because only that will lead to something really positive in your life. Okay, that's all for today. See you next time. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook and YouTube and share this video with your family and friends and call me for paid appointments only. Email me for paid appointments only. That's all for today. Goodbye. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.